My name is Caleb Barney. I am 18 years old and currently a senior at James Campbell High School. Um, what originally made me want to do acting, it's kind of hard to pinpoint when exactly I wanted to do it because I feel like that I wanted to do it my entire life. My entire life, I loved to put on shows. I would put on shows for my parents in their room. I would put on shows for my brothers, my friends, and everything that would come over my house. And I would just love doing that type of thing. And then one day, I started to get involved more into acting. I started doing plays for my church and some plays for my school. And while I was doing those things, I found that I really did have a passion to do such a thing, to be involved with films, even writing some films at, at times. And it's just a deep passion. I can't really imagine myself at doing anything different. Um, so, but in the past, I've had five acting classes, um, ranging like five Saturdays um, every week. Um, I also acted in many plays in my church, an Easter play, um, recreating the crucifixion and the life of Jesus. And um, also Christmas plays where I would also dance and um, perform as like a toy or something like that, something a little cute. But um, the reason why I want to apply to the academy is that I want to enhance my knowledge of this field. I want to be able to do better in it than I already am. And I want to be able to grow more than I knew that I could grow and possibly even have a career in this field. That is the overall goal. I want a career in acting and in filmmaking. And to be able to do that would make every dream that I had in life come true. So without further ado, um, here's my performance. The first monologue that I will be doing is Hamlet by Shakespeare, the to be or not to be. To be or not to be, that is the question. Is it better to withstand all the nasty things that life throws your way or is it, is it better to fight against it by putting an end to it all, to die? To sleep, that's, that's all death is, it's sleep. It's a sleep that cures all heartache and suffering and pain that life on earth gives you. That's something that anybody could hope for. That's something that anybody could wish for. To die, to sleep, sleep. Maybe, maybe even a dream. But that's the catch. In death's sleep, who knows what dreams might come? It is that concern that makes us drag out this sufferable life for so long. It's because we are afraid of something after death. Why else would we put up with the insults of arrogant men, life's humiliations, the abuse from superiors, the pangs of unrequited love, the, the mistreatment of the people in office, the mistreatment of the people in power, the mistreatment that the good people have to take from the bad. You could just take out your knife and call it quits. Why else would you grunt and sweat through the sufferings of life when you could just die? It is the fear of death that makes us makes us think about what. It makes us think about what is wrong. It makes us afraid of a country of which no visitor returns. It makes us afraid of something that we have questions about but we never get answers from. It makes us afraid to leave the evils that we don't and rush off to the ones that we don't know. Fear of death makes us cowards. It takes what natural boldness that we have it turns it into weakness. It takes actions that should be taken out immediately and misdirects it until it stop being actions at all. So this next monologue is called A Question of Sex by Arnold Bennett. Strain! Strain! 
strain, my dear sister, do you know the amount of strain that I have been through these months past? Do you see the dark circles on my eyes, the, the, the giant discoloration of my arms, the, the ball spot in the back of my head? Like, oh my God, sister, I have a secret and a woe. I, this woe that with the courage of an Englishman and a parent, I, I have shared with none. My sister, I am undone. I am undone. I, I feared it. I feared it for many weeks. Here, listen, listen, listen. Five or six months ago, one of the two, five or six months ago, Uncle Francis said that if it was a son, that he would put 10,000 pounds on it, 10,000 pounds. But he said that if it was a daughter, it, it very well may be. He said if it was a daughter, he wouldn't even consider the possibility of such a thing. I mean, do you know the kind of jerk this guy can be sometimes? I, I, do, you, do you see my state of mind? Do you see my state of mind? I, do you know how many nights I spent awake? Night after night after night after night. Do you know how? restless and how wary I have been. It, I may even fall asleep this afternoon in my own undoing. Oh, oh. being a parent, it ain't as easy as some superficial outlook of me. They perceive. So I would like to thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to start enacting my dream as an actor. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity and the steps that you guys took to help me to get here. So I really hope that you enjoy the performances that I put on for you and I can't wait to hear back from you with an admissions decision. Thank you and best of luck.